If you're looking for a great under-the-radar destination in Mexico, consider Jalapa. The capital of the state of Veracruz is known for a lot of things, including a world-class anthropology museum, legendary coffee, and rewarding day trips to magical towns like Coatepec and Hico, where you can enjoy fascinating traditions and beautiful natural attractions. It's no wonder I'm jumping for joy about my first trip here. So come with me as we explore Jalapa. We might even try some jalapeno peppers right where they grow. We're standing, or in Mark Porter's case, sitting here now at um, Parque Juarez, which is Juarez Park, named after Benito Juarez. Um, and it was inaugurated in 1892, um, a few years after his death. So this is a beautiful, very verdant and green park. It is partially closed off right now, I believe due to the pandemic, uh, just for safety reasons. But you can see it has beautiful details and it is surrounded by a lot of beautiful architecture. So I wanted to make sure you see some of this as well. These are government buildings up here. So this is right in the heart of the city. There's a lot to see and we're just getting started. More, so there's more to come. A centerpiece for the city is the Jalapa Cathedral, which was built in 1641 and underwent major changes in 1772. It's the only cathedral I've ever seen with an oddly sloped floor that goes up as you approach the altar, but is very beautiful nonetheless. One of the top day trips from Jalapa is Coatepec, a Pueblo Magico, or magical town, that's known for its arts and crafts, great coffee, and even an orchid museum. And you can see it has lovely, colorful architecture. We even get to hear the bells inside. It's gorgeous as well. A lot of finely, nicely painted details and religious sculptures. Um, also here in town, you'll find a lot of attractions. There's a lot of little shops actually. So it's very good for shopping, very good for coffee as this whole region of Veracruz is known for. And there's an orchid museum. There's, there's some trails with some beautiful views that you can take. Coffee. Then lots of coffee. So if you're a coffee lover, this is one of the regions that you need to visit. We'll take a look inside the church now. Supposedly, some of the outside architecture is supposed to represent snakes, since the name of the town literally means Snake Hill. The state of Veracruz and the town of Cuatepec are very famous for their coffee. Now, what do you do if you're someone like me? I don't drink coffee, unfortunately, although I love the smell. So here's another, here's one option that I found here in Cuatepec. It's a malteada de magnum. So this is a milkshake that's topped with a magnum chocolate um, uh, ice cream novelty. So this is, looks very intense, totally bad for the diet, but it's something you can treat yourself to. So I'm gonna dig in now. Our next stop is Hico, another Pueblo Magico or magical town that's known for its historic architecture, cultural traditions, and natural beauty. A must-see is the Museo de Danzante Hiqueño, a fascinating museum that showcases the colorful costumes worn during the annual patron saint festival. I'd love to go there for the actual event. I almost feel like we're entering Jurassic Park or something when you see this lush countryside. Now watch it. Giant ravines or whatever you want to call those and I can hear the water but I can't see it yet. It looks beautiful. And that old rusty bridge there with no bottom, that's so scary and cool. So let's see what else we can find. <laughs> you start all the way up here in this bridge and then if you walk around enough you follow a few stairways, then you get a spectacular view of one of the waterfalls, but there are several to discover. <laughs> so we're here at a restaurant called La Molienda in the town of Pico, Veracruz, Mexico, and we're having lunch at this beautiful a restaurant which sits on the on a on a little river here. You can hear the babbling water. It's so beautiful and relaxing. And one of the foods that's that this region is known for is mole. So I'm having trucha for, um, for mole, which is trout, fresh caught trout with mole. And I'm washing it down with a delicious agua de Jamaica, which is hibiscus water. Anthropology Museum in Jalapa is definitely one of the top must-see attractions and exhibits here in the city of Jalapa, Veracruz. Um, as you can see, it has beautiful outdoor areas. 
this is supposedly the second best and second largest anthropology, anthropology museum in all of Mexico. So there's a lot to see here. It focuses on the civilizations of the Veracruz region, of this entire region of Mexico actually, including the Olmecs, and the sculptures are, are fascinating. So it has both indoor and outdoor exhibit areas. I'm just gonna give you a quick taste here by taking you into one of these small courtyards where you can see some sculptures um, and artifacts, I guess we should say. And there's more over here. The interior is equally as impressive, if not more so, uh, because the architecture itself is designed to kind of pull you into this almost infinity seeming um, exhibit space. Very clean, very well designed, and simply fascinating. It's been easily half a day or a whole day here. We're visiting Hacienda El Encero now, and this is a beautiful hacienda, former hacienda, located on the outskirts of the city of Jalapa. And as you can see, there's a beautiful stone chapel here. What's incredible about this hacienda is that it dates to 1525. So that's more than 100 years before the pilgrims arrived on Plymouth Rock in what it would become the United States. Over here, you can see some of the um, main parts of the, the residential home and the other parts of the, of the hacienda. It's a, such a beautiful place, expertly maintained and updated, and also with beautiful gardens that you can wander with flowers, and there's, there's a pond, there's a lot to explore here. You may be wondering how people got around in the 16th, 17th, even the 18th centuries and into the 19th centuries. This is one way they did it, by horse carriage, of course, because there's seating for a lot of people on board. And it's quite interesting to look at. It looks rather comfortable. Now, we got out to this little town of Lincero and this 16th century hacienda taking a taxi. But since this is a small town and there's no Uber, we're not sure if we'll be able to find a taxi home. So we may end up having to buy this carriage perhaps hire a horse to pull it back uh, so we can ride back this way, which doesn't sound too bad for, to me because it sound, looks like a very cool and fun way to travel. So we took a taxi to get out to the town of El Encero to visit the Hacienda El Encero, the museum out here. The problem with coming out to small towns is there may not be taxis going back and there's definitely no Uber. So right now we've been instructed we should walk all the way to the, high, the main highway, which leads into the city, and then try to catch a bus back into the city. So we just got on a bus. Apparently no buses would go to downtown Jalapa leave from where we were. So the very nice driver is going to let us know where to get off and change. So um, if you don't want to go through this, always make sure that you arrange when you leave a city like Jalapa to have a return trip arranged. So maybe a taxi driver can wait for you or you hire a driver. 